All right, so yesterday we went over some truly fantastic last minute Christmas gift ideas over in Crappy Off Brands, but you decided to procrastinate further. Now it's Christmas Eve. All the shops are closed, so you can't buy anything, so you have to make it yourself. Here we're gonna go over some possibly fantastic do-it-yourself Christmas gift ideas in the DIY subreddit. So why don't we take a look at the past month and maybe it'll give you some inspiration. So we'll start off with, is this woodworking or auto body repair? So, you know, if, if you have someone in your family who perhaps has a car that's in need of a little bit of work, some door dings, some dents, things like that, then uh, you can, you know, make up for the fact that you didn't buy them a gift by helping them out with some auto body repair. You can do some work on their car, just like this person did here on this one, where it is missing the front, and they decided that wood would be the proper thing to use to fix the front body panel. Which, you know what, if, if you did this for a relative, they would at least appreciate the effort that you put in. Because it probably requires more effort than even going out and buying a gift. So, you know, good on you if you decide to go this route. Phone will not charge without pressure, so I made this. This would actually be a good gift, not so much for me, if, if with my current phone, but with past phones that I have had with that USB Android charging port that gives out over time, I could actually use this. So, you know, if you have someone who has that issue with charging their phone, the cable constantly gets a little bit loose and doesn't end up charging it, then you could make something similar to this. Doesn't have to look exactly like this, but this is actually kind of an ingenious solution to a very, very common problem. It also looks like your phone might have a little small, you know, it being cracked problem, and I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that it won't charge properly, but that's also, that's a thing to consider. The trunk is too small to haul him. How else would you have transported him? <clears throat> so, hey, you know, for, for the hunter, hunting enthusiast in your family who owns a very small car, if you want to help Jerry rig a, a system for them, that mounts to the back end of their vehicle that allows them to haul their kills back home, then this, I'm sure, would, would be some a, a really good Christmas Day project to do with that family member to, to help build this. That also seems very dangerous to have flopping around uh, on the road, and you might get pulled over by the police. <laughs> I have no idea what the regulations are as far as hanging deer by the feet and dangling it off the back of your small vehicle. Um, good God. <laughs> At this price, I'm losing money if I don't buy it. Deer rump bottle opener, $100. So that's why that person was hauling that deer down the road. They were trying themselves to make it, uh, to make a DIY Christmas gift for a family member of theirs. You know, what a, what a, and then unfortunately the, the family member, who they gave the deer rump bottle opener to is now trying to sell it on Facebook. So hopefully the person who was hauling that deer behind their car doesn't see this or they're probably gonna be very upset that they are having their gift re-gifted or sold actually, which is probably even worse than re-gifting. It genuinely looks like the inside of the anus though. When you just, when you add the bottle opener there, it's like from far away, it just actually looks like the butthole. Merry Christmas. Hey, how topical. <laughs> If you have an auto enthusiast in your family, say me for example, but unfortunately, taking your car into a car customization shop and getting it wrapped in some 3M vinyl, it can be a little bit pricey. It can run a few thousand dollars and up, depending upon what kind of car you're doing it to. So if you have a family member who really wants that to happen, but perhaps that's running a little bit steep for your budget of, of giving someone a present, then on Christmas day, you can just wrap their car. It, I, you know, it's it's pretty unique. You don't really see any many multicolor striped cars on the road, so everyone will look at you. And that they would. You bet they'd look at you driving around on the road with that. <laughs> my frames broke, so I forced my lenses into some cheap sunglasses frames. I look ridiculous, but I can see it work. I, I suppose that would actually work. That might not be a very uh, feasible DIY Christmas gift solution, given that I, I don't know why you would have the person's lenses. <laughs> Uh, on uh, offhand or know if they were gonna fit so you know this is one that I'm gonna strike down probably not gonna work too well also it seems a little dangerous you know if the frame pops out and 
glass goes into your eye. This is gonna be a no-go for me, but still respectable, commendable effort. Sweet door for your door. If you're worried about someone breaking in, then this can go over your, your door, I suppose. And that way, even if they shatter the glass, then they have to get through the more solid wood behind it. And it's kind of cool in that regard, and like you can have whatever you want, even though the problem here is that it has the door closer. And that's sticking out. And so you can't actually shut this here all the way. It won't work. So what is the point of this? You can't, you can't actually shut it all the way. Also because of the handle. I missed the handle, but you just, you actually just can't shut it. So what's the point of that? Why do you, I'm also gonna strike this gift idea down. This is real, this is a head scratcher right here. Load bearing soup. Load bearing tomato soup. Do not remove. Hey, I'm sure that, you know, if you really wanna help out your relatives while you're visiting on Christmas day, opening up gifts, but you didn't buy anything yourself, you just ask. Hey, do you need any help with work around the house? That's how I can compensate for not having brought you anything. And I'm, I'm sure they'll identify quite a few things that could need work. And maybe they'll identify that their lazy Susan, you know, has a shelf that's a little bit loose. And if you need insight on how to fix that, you just grab tomato soup, you write load bearing soup on it, and you just prop it up in there. Because who doesn't need a bagel tote? Take an old CD spindle and turn it into a bagel tote. It's actually kind of, kind of smart. It's like a good way to keep your bagel in place and protect it from getting crushed from the outside? That's impressive. Wow. Hey, I'm a bagel enthusiast, so hey, if you know any other bagel enthusiasts in your family who just, you know, they like to take their bagels into work for lunch, but they're always getting crushed, just take it to them and be like, new lunchbox for you. It'll work for your bagels, I promise. It's got only kind of one use, but you like bagels, you take them to work almost every day. Also, who really has CDs around their house anymore? So that might be the bigger problem here. My mother found the spray paint. Did, did you did you spray paint pumpkins for Christmas? Hey, I, you know it's another possible DIY project you can do the day of. If you happen to own some spray paint, have that laying around your house, just take it over to wherever you're going, be like, I'll, I'll spruce things up a little bit. You got any plants that could use some spray painting? Pumpkins specifically, but you know, I'll also spray paint the angel fountain. I promise I'm, I'm really good. No, I haven't done any tagging or graffiti. I promise I just have a natural gift. I painted birch trees on my window. Oh, you did? That's, that's a bizarre choice. Huh. It looks very Dr. Seuss-esque, kind of. You also have birch trees outside already, so why did you feel the need to paint them on your window? I mean, in fairness, it, you really, you got kind of the wood grain in there. So it looks kind of, you did a good job with it. It's more like an awful taste, but great execution kind of thing here. And you're like, hey, you know, your place is looking a little bland. I didn't bring any gifts to help spice it up, but I'll put my art prowess to use and paint your windows. Like, no, please, please don't paint my windows. They're good as is, they're windows, they're for seeing through. No, I'm gonna paint your, I'm gonna paint your windows and you're gonna like it. Why is this even in my recommended section? DIY wearable pizza. Hell, the junk food. Is it, is it like, is this supposed to be a fun, a pun? Like, this is actually hell. You are wearing pizza around your body and draped off your ears. Like, this is hell. Uh, and junk food, simultaneously. Also, it has 163,000 views. It's gotta, it's gotta be a joke, it's a joke, right? It's gotta be a joke. I, I don't. Could this be a new low? 17 weird ways to sneak makeup into class slash back to school pranks. You know, if that's actually, that's actually a DIY thing, like you hollowed out and, I don't know, epoxied an apple so that you could turn it into a makeup kit, it's kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. But also I feel like you might have photoshopped that a little bit because, if, you know, you really don't wanna probably put your makeup in an apple. Not being familiar with, you know, bringing makeup to school, is makeup actually disallowed in class? Like you, you have to, you have to do that? You have to store it in an apple in order for it not to be confiscated. I did actually. I did do the hollowed out book thing for an iPod at one point, and it worked. It was it was pretty good. I did the I did the hollowed out book thing at one point, and then I also DIY'd a sweatshirt that had the ear the earbuds run through. It had the the pocket down here, the pocket down here, right? And then I ran the cord 
up through the inside and then I, I put the earbuds into the hood of the sweatshirt. So put the hood up and I could be listening to music. It was actually, it was pretty ingenious. If I really, cause it, it's a little drowned out when it's, cause it's in the hood and it's not really in your ear. So I could just go like that and then uh, I could listen to my music. And I did that a couple times and I still got good grades. A scarf made out of socks. This is in an actual shop for God's sake. <laughs> Doesn't really look like a scarf. I would just be confused seeing someone wear that. I feel like most people could probably DIY this because you probably have a few socks in your sock drawer. And if you're anything like me, you have a lot of socks that you just don't wear anymore. And they're just kind of sitting there. So you might as well put them to use before you go over to your Christmas get together and just give this to the person who you don't really like. Or they won't be able to say anything because it will have been obvious that you actually put work into it. Cheap motel TV mount. Flat screen tape to TV with packing tape. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you, you kind of defeated the purpose of getting a flat screen. Isn't the purpose of flat screen TV so that it can be flat and not actually even thicker than the CRT TV? They're just like, eh, you know, these are heavy. It's going to take a lot of effort to get these out of our hotel room. So, you know, if we just get flat screens. We can save on the labor and uh, we also don't need to buy any mounts to mount the TV anywhere even though they come with a stand on them. You can just take the stand off. We don't need to mount them on the wall. So it's really, it's an economic solution. Why though? DIY food, you mean cooking? DIY foods, delicious foods you can make yourself. I think for most people in the world, it's pretty standard. You know, people do DIY their, their food. This is, this is something you can do. You probably have food laying around your house, unless you're me, in which case your entire refrigerator is literally just protein shakes. That's all I have in my refrigerator. Protein shakes and water. Doesn't look like a, a place that you'd be able to live out of. But anyway, uh, if you're not me, you probably have food laying around your house and you can always bring food to the Christmas get together and uh, people will be like, yeah, that's nice. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring alcohol and nothing else. Pizza box briefcase. Wait, are you really? You're even, you're straight up, you're actually doing the video with pizza half eaten in the <clears throat> <clears throat> so what you're telling me is you 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 cut the pizza box in half that's what you did this this is not getting my seal of approval for a DIY gift just cut the pizza box in half and tied a string to it. The most innovative way to organize your apps. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, black. This is actually, this is oddly satisfying. I really, I like this. I almost, I'm feeling encouraged right now to, to do this. I like this a lot. This is not a, why did you do this? Even if you procrastinated everything to the end of time and you're at the get together and you have done nothing, you've brought nothing, you have nothing to offer except your brain. You can tell everyone you will sort their apps on their phone by the color and they'll get their phone back and if they're old, they'll think you broke it. Also, have you ever noticed that the Apple News logo, it looks like the Dota 2 logo. Like they're, they're the same logo. It's really bizarre. Anyway. DIY amber in case nails. Did you really put a f dead mosquito in your nail? That's disgusting. Oh, I can't advocate that one either. That's gross. Oh, no. Why? Also, why do you just have a dead mosquito readily available? Ah, uh, Dog, that's the, don't do that. That's gross. Also, mosquitoes are pretty rare around here in LA, you don't see them all that often, and so you must be in like a heavy mosquito area. You're just like, I'm gonna exact revenge on this mosquito by Han soloing it in my nail. Retro hoverboard, works best downhill. Retro hoverboard, 100 bucks, not electric hoverboard, works best downhill. Also pretty impossible to balance on without any electronics. I don't know, anyway, I'd actually be genuinely impressed if someone could balance on that for an extended period of time downhill. That'd be really, really impressive. I bet there's someone out there who could do it. If you have any little kids in your family who you really don't like and know they won't be able to tell the difference between a, an electronic hoverboard and this, 
Just go break the rear axle off of something. Just give it to them. And they'll probably get tetanus. And it won't be good. But at least you'll be like, ah, I don't know, they hurt themselves. I just gave the gift. That's all she wrote. Thanks so much for watching this edition of DIY. Hopefully you got some good inspiration for your last minute Christmas gifts now that the stores are all closed. Also, you might be watching this after Christmas and it doesn't apply to you, but that's fine for next year. You always gotta be ready. Uh, make sure to like if you like, check the playlist in the description if you wanna catch up on more Reddit videos. Subscribe if you're not already, and if you wanna listen to music playing in the background right now, it's linked to the outro over on the Mary Music channel. I'll see you next time. I don't forget.